The main event of the evening is up next. Brandon Bad Boy Cook versus Gino Godoy. And this should be a good one. 35 KOs combined. We've had a night full of action, and this main event certainly is poised to deliver more of that. Well, you know what? You can never go wrong with Brandon Cook. Uh, he always he always brings it. He's that type of guy. You, you got to fight him. Bring your lunch bucket to work type of fighter. He's, uh, he's in it for the long haul. Makes for exciting fights. Loves to exchange in the center of the ring, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, in the pocket. Likes that hook to the liver. And... Uh, He's one to give one to take one. Take one to give one. Okay, Brandon Cook, a former world title challenger, 36 years of age though, so the time is now. If he wants to make another run, the time is now. There is no more time to waste, and it starts here tonight in this main event. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the main event of the evening, scheduled for 10 rounds or less in the super welterweight division. First off, please welcome to the arena, fighting out of the blue corner and Argentina. Here is Chino El Aspero Godoy. Muy buenos días a todos los amables oyentes en esta mañana de su radio Argentina. Ayer les hablé de su vuelta de Chimera de Persequichis, que hoy hemos fuelto a la pica, que ya está tan abuela, hasta que no te hubiera ido a mí, que no voy a ir por la pared. Gino El Aspero Godoy, 29 and 2 with 18 KOs, venturing outside of his native Argentina for the first time in his boxing career. A headlining main event moment for Godoy taking on Brandon Cook, the hometown hero, Ajax, Ontario. This a huge opportunity for Gino Godoy. He has spread his wings, he has left his native homeland, and this is an opportunity for him to make a splash in a big way and play perhaps a bit of a spoiler role here with Brandon Bad Boy Cook and Ajax. This is a huge opportunity, the biggest of Godoy's career. 100%, it's a pivotal moment for him, and it'll be interesting to see how he responds to it. Some guys, look, I had the fight on the road, it was fuel for me. I used it as fuel. When I fought on the road, I, 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 uh, it motivated me when I heard boos from the crowd when, when I would get introduced into the ring. And I would tell myself, you know, by the time this fight's over, you're going to remember me and you'll be cheering for me before I leave this arena. It, some guys, that's, they use it as fuel and it makes them more dangerous. They, we, call them, we call them road warriors. Other guys, they fold under the pressure a little bit and they, they don't they can't handle the uh, the feedback from the crowd and they get intimidated and they get they get caught up in the moment we don't know we don't know uh, which what kind of reaction we're going to get option a or option b uh, from Gino Godoy tonight but that's why the guys fight the fights and uh, so we can find out. There's only one way to find out. Well, the wealth of experience, 29 and 2, 31 fights, but this some uncharted territory yes. for him as well. I mean, repetition is what breeds experience, but the repetition for him has always been in his home country. Is that comfort not yet zone. branched out? Comfort zone. That's a great way to put it. And it's an uncomfortable environment at best of times in a boxing ring with an opponent trying to take your head off. You add on the element of being on the road, being in an unfamiliar environment, unfamiliar your circumstances the yes. food is different the environment is different the surroundings are different the people yes. are different it's the a culture. difficult situation 100 for sure everything is different and it's for the very first time in gino godoy's career that he's dealing with this differences all the while having to deal with an opponent on the other side of the ring and brandon cook so the challenges are certainly there are plenty for gino godoy it's a little late but better late than never. The former world title challenger who has electrified Ontario arenas for a decade. Please welcome Brandon Bad Boy Brandon Bad Boy Cook making his way to the ring. And Tony, I know this is your choice for walkout song oh. of the night. Does this just not scream big fight when you oh, hear this man. song? I'm, I'm, I'm getting chills right now. It's, it's making me think of a comeback. Uh, Brandon, <laughs> don't do that to me. Don't do me like that. <laughs> 
Well, it gets the blood flowing. It gets it, the big fight energy going. It's you know, Saturday night. I was talking about what it was like fighting on the road and how that would fuel me, but it was a different energy when it's on your hometown too and you're coming down that boardwalk on your way to the ring, you hit that stage and your people are cheering for you, shouting your name. And Brandon's giving me those flashbacks, I'm seeing it and it's, it's a feeling that you can't get anywhere else. You know, I know exactly what Brandon's feeling and, and uh, man, oh man, just take it. It's a moment in time that uh, you cherish forever. Brandon Bad Boy Cook. 24 and two with 17 KOs, Ajax, Ontario. The hometown hero looking to make good in the main event of this evening. This is the main event of the evening. Scheduled for 10 rounds or less in the super welterweight division. It's all being brought to you live by Tyler Buxton's United Boxing Promotions, live from the sold out Pickering Casino Resort tonight in Pickering, Ontario, Canada. Your judges at ringside for this main attraction, Mr. Alan Davis, Mr. Jeremy Hayes, and Mr. Martin Delita. And your referee in charge, the third man inside the squared circle when the punches fly for the 2024th time, Mr. David Dunbar. And now introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he wears the white with blue, Albi Celeste de su querido Argentina. He weighed in at 158 and three quarter pounds. His record as a professional, a sterling one. 29 victories against two defeats with 18 big wins coming por via del knockout. From the Centenario Neuquén, Argentina, Damas y Caballeros, ladies and gentlemen, he is Chino El Aspero Cowboy. And now his opponent across the ring, he fights out of the red corner. He wears the blue with the shiny silver trim. He weighed in at 159 and one quarter pounds. His record as a professional, 24 victories against two defeats with 17 big wins coming by way of knockout. The former Canadian, North American, and intercontinental champion. The former WBO world title challenger. The fighting pride of Ajax, Ontario, Canada. He is Brandon Bad Boy Mr. David Dunbar. Gentlemen, we went through the rules earlier in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Beltline is here, Beltline is here. Above there will be considered good blows. Any questions from the corners? Gentlemen, touch gloves, come out at the bell. Good luck to you both. The intensity in the atmosphere ratcheted up for this main event of the evening. Gino Godoy, Brandon, Bad Boy Cook, 10 rounds in the super welterweight division. And we are underway. Main event of the evening here tonight at the Pickering Casino Resort. Brandon Cook taking the center of the ring. Speed noticeable from both of these fighters right away. Ogodoy looking to maintain some range, a little bit of lateral movement. Not make it easy for Cook to, to just come in and uh, get his shots off. 10 round fight, each fighter respecting one another, their abilities, their power, their skills. A 10 round fight versus an eight round fight type of situation. Maybe a little bit more runway to have a feeling out first round or? Well, 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 that's what we're seeing so far, and we, which is often commonplace in, in, in a 10 round fight. Nice spin there. That was a nice spin by Godoy getting off the ropes. I like the way he maneuvered uh, Cook's arms, kept him from, it kept Cook from trying to launch a shot as Guru was starting off the rose by him, controlling his arms, he had a touchdown chance. 
Yeah, uh, speed doesn't always throw. Speed doesn't always have to be punches, right? Footwork, elusiveness. Exactly. Yeah. All Hand, playing into a factor. Hand positioning. Where you place your arms. So far, Godoy, Godoy's off to a positive start so far. He's working behind the jab, an educated left hand. He's applying some movement. No one had a shutdown and nullify Cook's attack as he tries to work his way in. Nice range control there by Cook. Using the jab, eluding the uppercut. Cook showing his strength there, just pushing the guy off him. Godoy tried to initiate a clinch. But what I'm seeing here, one, two, backs out, he's making Cook miss. So far, two minutes into this fight, Godoy all boxing Cook right now. Good head movement, nice counters, basics. Nice body oh, shot there. there. And that, more shots like that is what it will take for Cook to make it his kind of fight and slow down that movement of lots, Godoy. Lots of time for those to add lots up as well in a 10 round fight. <laughs> yes. Put those in the bank early and often. Uh, but Godoy returning with his own body shots there. You know, maybe we're getting one question answered already with this fight, we wonder, what was the reason he never left Argentina? Was it by choice because people were protecting him or was it just lack of opportunity? Maybe it was just lack of opportunity because so far Godoy is showing, uh, showing some good some good craft here uh, early in this fight. Oh! Final 10 seconds and we have a slip. Godoy, good sportsmanship immediately acknowledging. Not that the veteran official is going to be fooled by that, but <laughs> good sportsmanship to wrap up the first round and yes. a crafty first round. The skill level is certainly high in this main event of the evening. Yes, I do think uh, Gino Godoy uh, did enough to win that first round. I thought he employed some good, some good boxing ability and found ways to slow down the pace and nullify Cook's attack. But yes, this fight is far from over and Cook Hasn't started cooking just yet. We're just getting started. He's, he's still heating up the he's stove. Pre preheating the oven and <laughs> sure we'll be ready to go. He's just he's defrosting right now. That's it. <laughs> Ten round fight, lots of time to work with. Speed was evident right away from both of these fighters. The elusiveness as well. Godoy got a jo good job of picking and choosing the right moments, the right opportunities to get out of the path of Brandon Bad Boy Cook. Very impressive first round. Fighters touch gloves again at the start of the second. I was never a fan of that. Uh, I we're, believe we're here in, to scrap. I believe in touching the gloves at, at, the, at the sound of the first bell. Well, in the center of the ring, when you do the stare down, touch gloves. After that, I'm only touching the gloves again before the last round, if you make it there. Everything, everything else in between, I was fair in level more. It's a fight. That's it. Lateral movement here from Godoy, but Good job by Cook to cut off the angles. Yeah, Cook, Cook, Cook's got a little bit more, a little more forceful about his his attack now in this round. Not giving Godoy as much time uh, to move around and uh, put himself in position to land shots. He's uh, Cook's a little bit more forceful. Oh, oh but huge he took a right, right hand. hand on the way in. Big right hand from Godoy. Go keeps pressuring forward, keeps moving forward. Rips that's to the body, rips again body to shots. the body. That's what he does best. And then he's ripping up those uppercuts inside, fighting for room to punch. This is what Cook does. He, rough, he roughs you up and he puts hands wherever you can put hands on you. Well, again, what might be happening too is that, you know, as these, as these early rounds progress is, so far, Godoy has shown that he has the boxing ability to a box score to give him some problems and land. But Cook might be realizing maybe, maybe the punches though aren't enough to hold them off and he might decide, hey, I'm one to, I'm one to take when they get in. Maybe. Oh, oh big massive right overhand right there from Brandon Bad Boy Cook. That oh, gets he, the attention of Godoy who seems to have eaten it pretty well. But Cook finished my sentence. I was gonna say when the Take one to give one. Oh, oh, and a left hand response from Godoy. Snaps the head around of Brandon Bad Boy Cook. The chins on both of these fighters. 
One huge shot delivered from each of them. And they meet again in the center of the ring and say, let's keep going, my goodness. <laughs> Different animal of human beings you boxers are, I tell you, Tony. <laughs> We, we are a special breed, that's for sure. Most definitely, zero doubt. Seeing some blood coming out of the nose of Godoy. Well, again, it's, it's, it's been very evident. Uh, uh, and, in this, oh, and in the second round, I get nervous how many times guys start making contact. <laughs> uh, it's a tough round to score because both guys had some shaky moments there. Absolutely. And ate some shots. That, that's a swing round. Massive. You know, there, there, there is such thing as even rounds. You right. know, I, I try not to give out even rounds too often, you know, but it could be one of those exceptions because both guys had their moments in that round. Well, two, two huge moments. One it's very fighter. You know, one thing we do know, it's very evident that it's very clear what we have here. Godoy wants to box. Cook wants to fight. But what makes it more interesting to add to the dynamic, though, is that Godoy, though he wants to box and keep things at range, he's not afraid to get his hands dirty and sit down and sit down on a shots and rumble if he has to. If he has to, he's shown so far that he is willing to rumble if he absolutely has to, and then he'll get back to boxing again. That makes it dangerous. Right. The footwork and, and lateral movement of Godoy has been on display in these first and couple it, of rounds here. And it could lure Cook in, because it, it could trick Cook into thinking, I'm the aggressor, I'm the puncher in this fight, but then Godoy's got, got that in his, in his back pocket where hey, I can crack you and hurt you too. Setting a trap type of yes. thing. Yes. Ooh, Rip nice to the body, to the body there. Straight, a little low belt line, but, but uh, a, a good attempt. Early uptick in pace here from both of these fighters yeah. as well. Yes, a 10 round fight, but they can fly by pretty quickly. Not a single round to be wasted, and both of these fighters recognizing that. Well, Godoy here, Godoy is definitely looking to slow down the pace. This is strategic thinking on him. He's not tired, but he is looking to slow down the pace so he doesn't get run over by Cook's volume and, and, and pressure. You see, he's doing a lot of good things in there. He spins back to the center of the ring. Cook wasn't able to pull the trigger. Yeah. And perhaps the elusiveness early in the fight of Godoy is maybe leading to some of that hesitation to pull that trigger. Well, we're seeing two different fights right now. It's two different, like, when we're inside like this, Cook's showing his inside prowess, his craftsmanship inside, where he takes his hand and wraps it around the other, guy, the other guy's waist while he tries to maneuver him in the position to, to, to throw shots. But then we have this, where Godoy is looking to maintain range and keep Cook off. And he, he's landing. When it's in the center of the ring, it's Godoy's fight. When the battle is on the ropes, oh, shots like that, it's Cook's fight. No time to touch gloves. Looked like Godoy might have wanted one there, but like you said, now is not the time. Well, the, the way these guys are, the pace is being fought and, and, and the shots and openings that these guys are trying to set up to land, uh, it's doubtful that I'm not sure if this fight reaches the finish line. One thing we do know, Godoy came to fight tonight. He came with a game plan. He's prepared. Cook is not fighting a slouch tonight. Cook, Cook wins tonight. He, he beat a credible, credible fighter. And there was the element of the unknown with Godoy, right? Yeah, First was. fight outside his homeland of Argentina. Safe to say you're impressed through two and a half, nearly I'm, three rounds I'm here. impressed through two, nearly three rounds because he has been relatively untested. It's, it's a late stage of his career at 35 to be answering some of these questions we have. Uh, but so far in this third round, he's, he's answered them up to this point. Final 20 seconds, round number three. Lots of action in this main event of the evening. Nice body shot there by Cook. He needs to do more of that. Cook able to get out of the way of danger there. Just in time, final few seconds here. Godoy goes to the body. Three rounds in the books in what has been a hotly contested main event. Not much to separate these two men so far in this fight. No, not, not much at all. That round there, I, I, I thought, 
uh, uh, there was that one significant blow Cook landed, that, that overhand hook around the guard. Uh, it might have been the hardest punch in the round, but I don't know if it was enough to win over around his three minutes. And over that three minute period, I still think that Boudoy got a lot of good work done uh, from range. And a lot of good things he was doing too to keep. To keep Cook from landing too many shots like that. You could argue right now that Godoy has won two out of the first three rounds, but but close if, enough to maybe go cl either way. Close enough to go either way. And if you've someone, got three judges scoring the fights over the course of three rounds. If someone had a two out of three for Brandon Cook right now, I wouldn't argue. Luckily, we've got seven rounds to go, so <laughs> lots of times to sort things out. Well, and the, and the best sometimes the best way to sort things out is if, if it doesn't go to the judges' hands, even better. Right. Definitive answer. Remove the no debate. Yes. That's one way Cook can remove that debate if he keeps pounding that body throwing. I call them cut off punches. When the guy's moving laterally that side to side, cut him off, pound those flanks up as he's trying to move. Well that could be an interesting strategy adjustment from Brandon Bad Boy Cook as well, because the lateral movement of Godoy has been a strength of his through three rounds. But Cook, Cook has seen this before. This is where Cook's experience and experience advantage can come in because he's seen this before. He's seen styles of this before and guys trying to do this in front of him. And it's just a matter of applying, applying his experience here tonight. And, oh, and there it is. Cracking right hand, but Godoy responds with a left. But he's found a home for that right hook, Cook, and as the fight wears on, that, that punch can start doing more and more damage. You don't want to take too many clean shots like that. Uh, goes on. The two men certainly pack some power. 35 KOs combined between them. We've seen the sting in the shots from both men multiple times in this fight. Both of these both of these men have men have the ability to end fights. Yes, and so far I think it, this is a more positive a positive round so far for Cook. I think Cook here in this fight uh, in this round has taken uh, taking control. And is it, this is turning more and more to a Brandon Cook fight. I'm telling you, Godoy didn't like that right hook right there. If I'm, if I'm Cook, I want to keep taking advantage of that jab. Coming back oh. slow, he's got a home for that right hand. And this one over the top, perhaps the work to the body, opening something up up top for Brandon Cook. It is, and, and, and Godoy also has to bring that jab back to his guard quicker because Cook has picked up the timing on that jab now. And he's, that right hand's finding its home before that jab comes back. It's a good, it's a good cook round. Now it almost seems like Godoy is a little, the one who's a little bit gun shy, perhaps unsure of the well, a little, emerging or or moving forward of Brandon Cook and how to react to it. Well, and you know, it, 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 it's, listen, pressure. Pressure, pressure makes diamonds, but sometimes pressure breaks too. Oh! Oh! oh. Is that a clip over the ear oh, to the back is. of the head? That's a that's a clean knockdown. Yep, that is. I was saying this earlier. What Doy has in his back pocket, he can trick hook into thinking he's the puncher because he's coming forward, but he's got them in the back end. I can hurt you too. Don't think because I'm moving and running around that I can't hurt you. I can. We'll see how Brandon Cook responds to that. Does that inject any urgency? Just 10 seconds to work with in this round, so not a lot of time. Watch that, that, out. That's a tough pill for Cook to swallow because he was really having his best round so far in this fight. And, and that knockdown the scorecards wiped away all his hard work. Right. But if you can look at, I'm gonna have a look at this knockdown. Oh, see that right hand? And the knockdown, obviously, the main moment in that round. Brandon Cook, you're right, had an excellent two and a half yes. minutes. Two and a half there minutes, he was the one. behind the head, kind of behind the ear. When you get hit behind the ear like that, it checks off your equilibrium, it's in your legs, your legs go. Yeah. Your head feels fine, your upper body's fine, but your legs have them under their own. Right. And that's what happened there with Cook. Uh, it doesn't always have to be a, a slug to the jaw to put, no. put that little blip on the brain. That's right. Quick and shot behind a, the ear. He's got a cut in his right eye too, and that could be again, again, He's had the kind of physically demanding style where he's got some scar tissue there. That could be a cut from previous fights and it opens up that much easier. Yeah. Uh, over the course of time, so much easier to, to reopen those. Yeah, exactly. So how does that knockdown play into this fight? 
a fourth round that Brandon Cook seemed to be well in control of. Yeah. But Godoy in the final 30 seconds scores the first knockdown of this contest. Interesting to see how it plays into both fighters' approach. Is there confidence now that we'll see emerge in the game of Godoy? Is there any tentativeness or perhaps urgency? Well, I think what we see with Godoy is uh, confidence so far in this fifth round. He's he's uh, he's not afraid to take some initiative and try to back hook up now. Now that he knows, hey, like my my shots can have an effect and and, uh, and 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 get some results. He's not so. Uh, and boy, this is something where if he feels like he can start back and cook up, see one thing he's showing early in this fight is a little more versatility than Cook because Cook knows one way. Come forward, walk you down, grind you down with pressure and attrition. He doesn't know how to fight backing up, and if Godoy can find a way to back him up without taking too much punishment, then I think Cook is in deep waters. Oh, and does some of the counter ability of Godoy, I mean, Brandon will continue to put the pedal down to the metal, but does it put some question marks into the mind of Brandon Cook? I'm telling you right now, Godoy is, uh, he's, he's feeling himself right now, and uh, I think uh, he likes what he's seeing and what he's feeling in there, and he's not, uh, he's taking what Cook's had to offer, and he's saying, okay, I'm still here, and, uh, and I can give it right back. Well, you want to build on that confidence yeah. from the end of round four, and Godoy's done a great job here in round number five, though Brandon Cook certainly, like you said, not going to change his approach to this fight. It's no. going to be forward. It's going to be pressure. 100%. Nice there's shot no, to the body there's there. There's no question. Cook is a warrior. Cook is a warrior, and he's, he, the word quit doesn't exist in his vocabulary. He's, he's going to be fighting right to the very end. Separation here from the referee. Godoy trying to gain some respect. Well, Godoy's really, I like the way he's placing his shots in this round, too. He's really picking his shots wise, and he's, he's not just throwing the throw. Like he's, every punch he throws is with intent, and it's with a purpose, and, 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 and with a specific target in mind. Efficient use of energy yes. from Godoy. Nice feint there from Cook before launching the left hand, now with an uppercut on the right. Final few seconds here of round number five. We've got ourselves a fight here because do. Brandon Cook and Gino Godoy are going blow for blow, back and forth. Main event of the evening here at Pickering Casino Resort has been all that has been advertised on our way to round number six. Gino Godoy did a good job of building off that knockdown in round number four, taking that confidence in round number five and using an efficient use of energy to continue to accumulate some damage on Brandon Cook. Yes, and now Cook now, I think Cook, Cook has to find some ways now to, to apply that pressure a little bit more strategically. You know, start, take his jab out of the toolbox, start doubling and tripling up on that jab, up and down, body head, and then when he gets inside, work, work, Pound the shoulders, pound the chest, pound the arms, the biceps, whatever you get your hands on until until he opens up those ribs and then you pound those flanks and work your way up. Make it ugly, smother this guy, don't give him room to punch. Well, everything you've described is Brandon Cook to a T. The working, yes. the smothering, the intensity, the aggression. So if that's his path to victory in this fight, that could be something that falls right into his skill set and right into his strengths. But Godoy is he's moving in a way where he only moves when he has to move. And he stands there, he looks like he's stationary, cooks, okay, I got him, I got him. And then a little side, there's little steps where he's moving just enough to keep Cook out of range, but not enough where he's expending too much energy where he's taking three steps to, to Cook's one. Cook with a nice job keeping that guard up, blocking the right hand of Godoy. Nice lead right hand there from Cook. It's a point shot, it's a scoring shot. Now looking to perhaps get out of the corner here as Brandon Cook's done a nice job of cutting the ring off. Godoy's. He has, and I like the way when he throws that right hook to the body, even if it doesn't land on the ribs, it's, it's banging Godoy's arm. It traps his arm. Not only does it wear down that left arm, but it also traps it 
at the same time, jams it from him being able to lift and put, pump that jab. I would like to see Cook follow up on that, though, with his left hand. Yeah, right hook downstairs, come up with the left hook upstairs. Hometown <laughs> crowd trying to get behind. Brandon Bad Boy Cook. But Cook hooks off to a, a positive start this round, but two hands. You throw that right hook to the belly, come upstairs. Come upstairs and follow up. Don't stop. Don't stop at the body. And Cook perhaps that uppercut. feeding off the intensity in this crowd. Another uppercut, a second uppercut finds its way up the middle. Response oh! to the body there by Godoy. Oh. oh. Cook oh, has felt that one. Shot. Oh, yep. and he's going back to it. He knows he hurt him. Yes. He knows he hurt him. Oh. Not as much sting in these shots from Cook after the body oh, shot Cook's either. Boy, Cook is a hardened warrior because he's. Oh, and eyes. another to oh, the body. I know what he's And that's going right to open now. up the head as well. Cook is one tough customer because I know those body shots that they hurt. I know what he's feeling. And boy, oh boy. Oh, it has completely removed the sting of the shots of Cook as well. Gordoy's really impressed me tonight because I had questions and he's showing all. Oh, again, that liver, he's finding it. Now, what, at what point Cook does he go up goal. top? I mean, the body's working, but the to up top then opens what? up as well. I mean, it's so tempting, though, because he can land it so clearly, cleanly that I think he's hoping that one's going to drop Cook. Cook's showing a lot to, to stay on his feet because those, those shots were right on the money. Cook looking to return favor as well with a few body shots of his own. But again, though, Godoy is showing that, hey, just because, again, I'm moving doesn't mean that I'm not the puncher here. I can hurt you too. This is a body blow battle as now Brandon Cook, look out, coming right through to oh, us. Wicked body shots. Almost had an uninvited guest at the announce table here. <laughs> the body shots was a theme through the second half of that round. It all got started by I, Gino Godoy. Brandon well, Cook I, trying to respond in kind. And I will say something too because you know, referee David Dunbar tonight ref some of my fights during uh, some of uh, my prime years too. And I will tell you, he's getting up there in age, but he's got his work cut out for him. Over 2,000 fights of this And year. I think he's loving every bit of it. You know what, the older he gets, he's going to laugh when he watches this. But I, I think but he liked that round. Old man Dunbar <laughs> is getting every bit of that stimulation to keep him young tonight, boy. <laughs> Brandon Cook had his moments earlier in the round. In fact, it looked like he had Godoy on the ropes, literally was applying the pressure. The atmosphere in the arena seemed to be going to his legs, going to his frequency of shots, but Godoy turned the tides very quick with not one, not two, but three body shots. Godoy's got a, he's had an ace in his back pocket this whole fight. I can't stress it enough. Uh, when you're watching this on the surface, it looks like Cook is the puncher. But Godoy is like, just because I'm moving doesn't mean I can't hurt you. Circles back to the setting traps that we talked about yes. as well, right? That's the beautiful part of this, this sport is the ability to show one thing but have an intention for another. That's why we call it the sweet science, baby. That's it. And what it does with a guy like Cook too, who relies so much on pressure and prides himself on being the body puncher is, it makes him think twice about moving forward now and throwing his own shots to the body because he knows, hey, I can, I'm vulnerable too. I'm not sure there'll be time for that type of thinking though. I mean, Brandon <laughs> Cook has to make no. it. But it, it's a natural inkling, right? Yes. I mean, when you're, it's easy to say from the broadcast table, but when you're in there in a fight, obviously, there's different reads, different reacts, and you draw yes. on your previous experience from the rounds that have just passed, and that's exactly what might factor in, like you say. But I will say, what I am seeing right now, I'm not seeing that from Cook right now, the body language I'm seeing. Right now, I think Cook is, I think Cook is controlling this round right now. It's not pretty, it's not dominant, it's, it's very competitive. Godoy is still very much a, a, a threat. Uh, it might even be ahead of the cards, if, if we're being honest with ourselves, but but Cook right now, I think, is uh, all working in this round. Oh, I say that just when I say that. Another it's one a, around the top, the side of the oh, ear type area, right? It makes me wonder if Godoy's listening to me. He goes, hey, don't, don't you talk too soon now. Well, it, saw, it was the type of punch that we saw lead to the knockdown in round number three. Yes. Right above the ear type of right hook. Nice duck there oh, by Cook, though he might have ate one. Just keeps moving forward. 
Well, is fighting a very smart fight. He came prepared tonight. He had, a, he had the benefit of a full training camp, and uh, it's, it's showing. It's very clear that he had uh, two months uh, to prepare for Cook and study him. Nice body shot there by Cook. Nice, more. First one onto the arms, but like you said earlier, those can still accumulate damage. Yes. Final 20 seconds, round number seven. Godoy going to what's worked for him so far in this fight, working the body. Brandon Cook, as only need, the only way he knows how, continues to move forward. So he's got, and you know what, it might have been enough. It might have been enough to get him this round. Tough it, round to score. Tough round to score, tough round to score. You could disagree with me if you want. Uh, Shane, how do you feel? Do you feel like it's a Godoy round or a Cook round? I think Brandon Cook moved forward enough in that round to get the 10-9 on the scorecards. Yeah. I still am impressed with the elusiveness of Godoy, and I think you touched on it earlier, just the, the wise use of energy, the efficiency yes. that he expends his energy. Everything has a purpose. Everything is not done without thought, without planning, and I think that's been a strength of Godoy in this fight, the ability to pick and choose when to use that energy, when to, when to move. His lateral movement has been key as well, but I think Brandon Cook did a great job of that round moving forward, landing enough shots to perhaps get the 10-9. I'm starting to not believe you when you tell me that you've never boxed before. <laughs> <laughs> we can shadow box after that if you want in there. I mean, I might, despite the shadow element of that statement, I might end up in my butt on my butt in about 15 <laughs> seconds flat. But listen, I, I don't box. I love, love, absolutely love the sport. I mean, what's not to love about it? And right. tonight has been a great example why, from start to finish on this fight absolutely. card, United Boxing Promotions bringing to Pickering Casino Resort. A great night of fights, and we still have a couple rounds, maybe less, of this main event of the evening. Brandon Cook, Gino Godoy, tightly fought, tightly contested yes. main event here tonight. Well, Cook's got to hold the climb here in, the, in these last three rounds because he, uh, he has been on box in some of the early rounds, and he did have the knockdown uh, going against some of the cards, so He's gonna really need a serious lay rally. More e exchanges like that. Nice uppercut. Mixing up his attack, more of that. Hook, uppercut, come around the sides, up the middle. Maybe just Two half hands. an inch from getting under the chin. Was maybe more of a grazing blow up the middle, the front of the face. 100%, 100%. And see, the challenge not here for Godoy, here's where Cook's, here's where Cook's strengths show themselves. Consistency, his volume, his conditioning. Sometimes it can overcome disadvantages he's given up in, 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 in skill and, and speed. Right. Because Godoy has shown a very smart game plan tonight, very efficient, very effective, but he's a little bit spotty now. He hasn't been as consistent the, the last round and a half. Well, lots of time left in the fight as well. 10 round fight, eight, yeah. nine, 10, that's three rounds. Seven was close as well, so. And Godoy also has to learn, oh, he's looking to shovel that lever again, he came close, but Godoy also has to realize he shoveled some early rounds in the bank plus the knockdown, but he also has to remember he is on the road. He's not in the benefit of having home territory. He can't rely on the judges to think they're gonna, they're gonna give him a, the benefit of the doubt. He can't afford to have too many close rounds. Well, let's circle back to the first fight of the night, though. Michael Cabado, the Canadian, and what we thought might have been a three-round, three-one victory for him was scored a two-two majority draw in a four-round fight. Exactly. You know the judges, you know, everybody, hey, we're all human beings, right? We all watch this, this sport through our own eyes, so. Well, and if Godoy does pull out the win tonight, let me tell you, this is a, this is a pro court crowd. He, he's gonna, I, I hope security is uh, is ready to do their job tonight <laughs> if, when he tries to get out of here. <laughs> I think he can take care of himself. <laughs> That's true. That is true. <laughs> I always laugh on these fighter entrances when there's security guards fighting right. these oh, absolute yeah. animal killers. <laughs> I think if thing goes, things go wrong, these guys can take care of themselves. <laughs> They'll be just fine. <laughs> oh, and a right oh. hand there from Godoy. Oh, my God, yeah. Connects. Oh, and a response to the body and another rip to the body. But Godoy keeps those elbows in tight. Doesn't give it. Doesn't give it away. He hasn't taken. He hasn't let those ribs take too much punishment tonight. But it's the aggression. It's the aggression and just the volume, the pressure of Cook that just. Right. He, but again, all those body, body shots. shots. Boy, oh boy. But I know. I know Cook's in shape because he's feeling those shots, and they hurt. Yeah. And those can easily. We talk about shutting the lights out with a knockout to the head, but your body shot. Body shots can easily shut the lights out on the body. I'll tell you right now, I've, I've, I've 
I've been ringing the bell. I've taken, I've taken shots on the chin, you know, in like 25 years in this game. And I, I would rather take a head shot and have my bell rung before mm. I take a body shot. Wow. It, 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 it's like it, uh, it's just a complete shutdown. It takes your soul. Right, right. It takes your soul. Yeah. You see it fly away. Yeah. <laughs> There's the cracking yes. right hand. That was the biggest moment of the round. Again, that, that's a tough, this is a tough round to score. You think that one blow there was enough? That was I the biggest moment of the round. I pers is the biggest moment. I don't know if it was enough though. Again, I do think his work, He's still doing some good work. He's landing some good selective shots, but it's been a little spotty. Not a, it's been a bit more sporadic the, the last two rounds. I don't know if it's enough to win over a three minute period. Right, and with the, the busyness and the frequency of Brandon Cook, that adds up over a three round or yes. three minute round as well. I, I still have Godoy ahead of the cards right now, but, but Cook is closing the gap with two rounds to go. Well, an important ninth, ninth round here. And you never know what the judges are looking at. A short right hand there by Cook. The, the judges may not be as smart as me, so. <laughs> I would never claim to be. <laughs> a nice Sting jab, jab right there, yes. yeah. Cook moves forward. Oh, oh, and a nice right oh, hand. Gee, Perhaps he, Cook's biggest what, punch what, of the he, fight. He literally took him. He backed him up from one side of the ring to the other there. Yeah, and a nod of acknowledgement. Oh, another, another one. Oh. Right hand from Cook is finding a home, follows up with a shot to the body. Well, this is what makes Cook so entertaining and TV friendly is just you see him take punishment where he's vulnerable and he looks as he's, he's on the verge of going down and then he comes back like this and that turns the tide in his favor. That's what makes him, this is what makes the fans want to keep coming back and support him. Early in the round as well, just the first minute is ticked away, still two to go. Brandon Cook has been so close finding a home on the uppercut as well. That points throughout this fight. See him going back to it from time to time. Can he find a home for that uppercut splitting the guard of Godoy? Oh, and now he's trying to throw some feints. Oh, Watch the head. Oh, like and God. another to the body. Jeez. You know what? I think I'll take a pass on that to even shadow, shadow boxing after <laughs> the fight. <laughs> I'll stay here at the safety of the announce table if that's okay with you. But you know, I know that body shot hurts because now look. He's got Cook in the corner now, and he's commanding the center of the ring. Just like that, he slowed down, because uh, Cook really was on, was on a roll there and had some momentum going. But now, here's where Godoy can't give it away, though, because he slowed Cook down. But now, don't give the ball away. Stay, stay in control now. Keep the pressure. Keep that pressure going. Right. Don't give it away. Don't take turns. Oh, oh right in. Uh, now they're swinging Godoy with a few shots of his own. I, I said, don't take turns, and neither guy listened to me. They said, no, we will take turns <laughs> rocking each other. Well, Godoy can only take so much. He's got to throw back, and he does just that. Continues to wear the damage, the blood leaking from the nose of Godoy. It's been a bloody nose for the past few rounds, at least. I got to say, too, I, I, I got to give credit to both guys here for maintaining an incredible pace in this fight. It's, it's unreal. 30, 35 and 36, it's, it's one thing to do this in your 20s, but these guys are maintaining a ferocious pace right now and taking take punishment at this stage of their careers. Yeah, average human beings tired after 20, 30 seconds. I mean, it might not look as much on TV, but it's a testament to, the, to, the, to their uh, conditioning and uh, dedicated to it. All while the danger of a world-class fighter taking yes. your head off, I mean. That's what we're here to see. That's why we are here. That's why the fans tune in. That's why the fans pay the money for the tickets, is to see world-class boxing just like this. One round to go in this main event, and that was a strong round for Brandon Bad Boy Cook. Yes. And, and you know what, boy, oh boy, he's closed the gap, but he may need something real big now in this last round because my scorecard, I have Godoy two points ahead. Going with one round to go. With one round to go. A knockdown could be extremely beneficial to leave a lasting impression and, and seal the deal. I, I think the momentum is going his way. And the last two, three rounds, he's, he's picked up the pace to find a way to close the gap and take away uh, space for Godoy to land too many Boys counters. But there were some early rounds in the bank, and that knockdown could come back to haunt him now right. on the scorecards. Right. Final round, 10th and final round, fighters embrace. In the middle of the ring. Brandon Cook.
Brandon Cook and Godoy meeting in the middle. Cook knows he has to move forward, knows he has to push the pace. Godoy now ties up Cook. Well, if I'm Godoy, listen, just because I have him two points out doesn't mean, you know, I don't want, I wouldn't want to coast in the last round. When Assume you, nothing. When you're in the opponent's hometown. Of you, course. You don't want to take anything. You don't want to leave nothing to chance. You want to do whatever, whatever you can in your power that you can control uh, to have things go in your favor. Level changes from both fighters. Both fighters have done such a great job here tonight of mixing it up. Incredible effort from both guys. Absolutely. A main event certainly worthy of the billing. Tenth and final round here in this super welterweight contest. I do think Cook right now in this round is, he is, uh, he is chipping away and grinding Godoy down. Well, just as I say that, Godoy, again, it's like he's listening to me. It seems like Godoy knows when the proper moment is to stem the tide. Brandon yes. Cook pushes forward, pushes forward. And Godoy says, all right, this has to end now, yeah. and fires back at just the right moment before things can get out of control. 100%. You think they're pushing the borderline of the belt here? Or this, they are. Th this they, is, it's they, getting close. I'm it, seeing some low ones. It, it is getting close. Haven't There's, seen any complaints from either fighter, though. No, no, no complaints. Uh, they, they are taking a little bit more liberties. This is, it's the last round. Again, figuratively, the gloves are off. Absolutely. Final minute of the 10th round. Looking for the room for the uppercut is Cook. Has Godoy up against the ropes. And what I like too, I need to acknowledge again, Dave Dunbar, because he's letting the fighters fight. He's not so quick to break up the action and make the fight about him. And even if fights, punches do stray a little borderline, he's not one to call out every single uh, minor infraction. He's letting the fighters fight their way out and figure it out for themselves. The fighters we, are settling this score. There is no doubt about that. Of, we need more referees like that. Heard and not seen. You don't ref 2,000 plus fights by accident. <laughs> Final 20 seconds. Cook going to the body oh. now. Seeing if the clack of the 10 second marker maybe has one last rush here. What do these gentlemen have in the tank? They oh. both start to throw. Final seconds of this main event of the evening. Great Back fight. and forth they go. Godoy and Cook throw right to the bell and maybe even pass. What a main event. Beautiful. Both of these men can hold their hands up in the air with pride. This was a super welterweight bout that delivered on all angles. The judges' scorecards will be interesting ones here tonight. That was one heck of a main event. Boy, oh boy. Uh, couldn't have asked for a better main event. Came as advertised. And you know what? I'll let this out of the bag now. Um, I think he surprised Cook's people, regardless of who comes out the victor tonight. I was speaking with uh, Cook and his handlers a little bit this morning at the weigh-in, and his handlers thought from the footage they had studied of Godoy that they thought they were going to get more of a stand-up European boxing moving style. Mm. Uh, he, gave, he gave Cook some of that, but then the ace in his back pocket was, hey, if you need me to stand in the pocket and punch a little bit too, I can also do that when needed. Well, that's the sign of a great fighter, the ability to bring multiple different elements to a boxing fight and keep your opponent guessing, right? And how much of the chess match perhaps could be played before the fight even begins. And we're seeing it here in the replays here again. It was a tale of two fights, you know? You'd have Cook coming forward, putting on the pressure, volume, looking to land bombs over the top. And then you'd see Godoy uh, regain control, weather the storm, and... Uh, land sneaky, accurate counters like that one there. Yeah. And do just enough to keep him uh, oh, like that, that. Yeah, in control, shot. just a step ahead. And look at him keep moving forward. Yes. How? Oh. I mean, how? After two or three shots to the body, Brandon Cook that, keeps that, moving forward. The, the, listen, there's some things that science can't measure. Right. And, and that's the human spirit. And Cook's got plenty of that. Cook getting a nice round of applause from his hometown crowd as well as he makes his way around the ring. Gino Godoy 
He's elated with his performance as he gets his gloves and taken off be. by his cornerman. And you could just see the elation on his face as well. We talked about it during the walkouts, during the entrances. First time after 31 fights, Gino Godoy ventures outside his homeland of Argentina, comes into enemy territory, comes in to take on the hometown fighter. And his performance was one he has to be thrilled with. Answered a lot of questions about himself. He right. answered a lot of questions, and I hope he likes those answers. Well, it's time to get the judges' scorecard on our main event of the evening. Let's head up to the ring for the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we go the 10 round distance in our main attraction of the evening, presented by Verde Alliance and proper 12 Irish whiskey. First off, let's hear it for both Brandon Cook and Shino Godoy. What a war! Judge Alan Davis scores the bout 95-94, Brandon Cook. Judge Martin Delita scores the bout 96-93, Godoy. And Judge Jeremy Hayes scores the bout 95-94 for your winner via split decision. Brandon Bad Boy Cook. Brandon Bad Boy Cook, the winner of the main event of the evening, the super welterweight bout. And how about this embrace between these two warriors? They go to war for 10 rounds. The respect is there, and it was earned over the course of the past 30 minutes.